What's up Tiki Team? Welcome to the channel. My name's Spesh, helping you conquer the Horde. And today we are going to be talking about four different changes that Treyarch made to the game that you may have missed. A lot of these changes are actually really, really well game changing. A lot of these are so big for the game and it's going to change the absolute meta. And we're going to start with the fact that you now spawn in with 1000 points. Yeah, you may not even notice it at the beginning of your game because you're just so used to spawning in with 500, but if you look down at the bottom left-hand corner, a thousand points just sitting there in your bank account. I really need that to happen to my actual bank account. If you guys, Trek, if you guys can just drop like a, a grand real quick in my bank account, that'd be sick. Now, as for why they're adding like a thousand points instead of like giving us nude Adler, I'm not sure. Like just give us naked Adler, it's not that hard. Also, whether or not this was an intentional change, because in Outbreak you do spawn in with a thousand, so maybe they just accidentally made the whole thing a thousand. I'm not really sure. This could be reverted. Who really knows? But if it is here to stay, that's going to make speedrun strategies and just playing the game with your friends a heck of a lot easier. Now the next one that I want to talk about is one that Kevin Drew tweeted out the other day. Now Kevin is one of the main dudes at Call of Duty, you've been seeing him on the special broadcast, and he tweeted, For those who don't want a Pack-a-Punch camo applied to their blueprint weapon or prefer a specific Pack-a-Punch tier camo, try punching the machine before packing after the update goes live. Again, this was not put into the patch notes, but let's say you have Dark Aether on your gun and you kind of want to leave it there and you don't want any of the Pack-a-Punch camos, all you have to do is punch the Pack-a-Punch machine before you put your weapon in there, as I do here with the machete. Granted, I'm just leaving it as a normal machete because I didn't have Dark Aether for the machete. But nonetheless, this is a pretty cool addition if for some reason there's a Pack-a-Punch camo you like more than the other and you'd rather see that your whole game, then sure, go ahead and punch the Pack-a-Punch machine right before you put it in there. Now, this one was mentioned inside of the patch notes the other day, but it actually has been a huge change for the game. The FFAR assault rifle inside of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies was a pretty decent assault rifle to begin with. But the biggest thing that was keeping me from using the FFAR was the kick. My god, the kick is horrible, and obviously these changes also work inside of multiplayer, which is good because I absolutely despise using the FFAR in multiplayer because of the kick. The effective damage range has been buffed up, so now you're doing 30 damage from further away, which is going to be huge for modes like Outbreak when you're fighting up against the Orta, as you'll see in my game here. Still not as good as the AMPs, however, this is a lot better than the FFAR was before. As for the vertical recoil, the kick was reduced, which is super helpful if you're trying to get those headshots on zombies, because my god, trying to get headshots off that thing, you're shooting all of a sudden up at the moon. Getting headshots with that thing was just a pain in the butt. And the very last change that they made, this one they did not mention at all in the patch notes, and it really, really confuses me as to why this is a change they decided to make, is on D Machina, a map that came out last year in like, what? November and they just decided to change this now. I don't know why they decided to change it like a year later, but here we are. As you probably know, the iron lung inside of the medical bay on D Machina is easily one of the best camping spots in the game, or at least it was, because now you can't even get on the dang thing, and if you do, you're gonna like slide right off of it, which I mean is kind of fun, but why would you not just let us stay on it after nine months? I mean, just just let us let us get on the iron lung. So a lot of players are going to have to find new strategies for high rounds on D Machina because the Iron Lung is dead. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys have thought about all these changes to the game. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you soon. Real quick, I just want to give a massive shout out to anyone who has become a YouTube member or a Twitch sub. And an extra special shout out to anybody who is at the Primus Richtofen tier of subscription. We're going to be starting with hashtag best mod strict. Archer. Primus Richtofen is the highest tier sub that we have inside of our channel. They are the biggest supporters of the channel. I cannot thank you guys enough. You are absolute pillars of the community.